Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's Tim Davis coming to you guys with another market review. I'm going to start out this weekend by taking a look at the SPX 8200 r which is the tool that tracks the percentage of stocks trading above the 200-day moving average within S&P. Uh, this is pretty much a good um, way to track overall sentiment, market sentiment and momentum. So today is Sunday, um, February the 4th, 2024. All right. And what I'll point out right now, and I'm going to Again, this is SPX 200 r which tracks overall um, momentum of the overall market and market sentiment. And what I'll point out right now is we're still hovering right around a level of resistance. Okay, we see um, these couple weeks here, it's pretty much been a cluster and been stuck below the level of resistance. Okay, if you look at the full stochastics in overbought territory, winds percentage also just coming out of overbought territory, so it's starting to trend downward. And um, the RSI, this RSI down here. So this is CCI. It is starting to trend downward. So with that said, it looks like there's a possibility that we could continue to either stall here and trade in this range or start to pull back because if you, again, you see we in overbought territory and TTM squeeze also so, shows possible overbought. So we could continue to do sideways action or pull pull back here. And if the sentiment continues to um, weaken here, then we'll see the overall markets continue to weaken as well. So again, the ultimate is to see a break above this level right here, which is about 80%, 80%. Um, but every time we get this level, we stall. You see, we're stalling. So like we're starting to stall Right around here, trade sideways to lower. So with that said, let's take a look at the overall markets. And since the markets are closed right now, we're just going to look at the ETFs to make it a more simpler and try to um, pinpoint some uh, targets, upside targets and downside targets. All right, let's start off by taking a look at the SPY, the SPY. Okay. Here is a weekly chart of the SPY. And what I want to point out right here, before I even stretch this out here, is look at where we've been before in the past, before hitting the pullback, and look at where we are now, just above that level. So previous resistance now becomes support. So keep that in mind. Now, let's take a look at this. Um, from a... Um, and more direct and shorter, shorter time. I mean, not shorter time here, but um, close up look. So again, looks like we we got above this level of resistance and got up to a high of about 496. So previous um, resistance becomes support. So that means this level down here, we are trying line is about 480. It will be a level of support. So the question is, do we pull back to the level of support and test it and see what and see if we go um, punch through it and go lower, or do we um? Continue to go higher from here, or do we pull back to this level and get a bounce? That's to be determined. But that 480 level is a target on the downside. And if we break above, if we go down and hit that level and bounce, then we can see a move above that 496 level. Take a look at a daily time frame. Again, see right, right here. And this 480 level is a, it's like a huge level of support with us up to a level of, um, you know, new, um, new highs right now. Um, so could we continue to just go march higher? We could, but remember, we're in, over, we're in overbought territory. If we look at the, go back to a weekly chart. And let's look at a weekly chart. Let's look at the RSI. Let's pull up a chart where I have RSI showing so we could take a look at how overbought the RSI is showing us. So the RSI right here is showing us. So RSI showing a level of 80. So right down here, right down here. See the RSI is well above the 70 level. Well above the 70 level showing at around 80. So that is, a, we are seeing overbought territory right now. So. Um, the more likely scenario is that um, we could march a little higher, but that'll just put us in, you know, deeper overbought territory. But eventually, I think this is going to pull back 
at some point and possibly test this breakout level. So test that 480 level. All right. Do that. Do that. So again, we overbought territory with price action, taking a bounce from this 480 level and went much higher, but could we pull back and try for another test? That is a huge possibility. 480 to the downside and above 496 could uh, spell higher prices. All right, let's take a look at the diamonds. All right, here's the diamonds. You look at the RSI and the diamonds, it's showing 84. So we, we are definitely in overbought territory. And this is a weekly chart, too. So even weekly, weekly charts are definitely overbought territory. So with the weekly in overbought territory, then you know that's something that you got to pay close attention to because eventually it could unravel and, and start to pull back. And again, same scenario. We are above a level of resistance, which was which used to be support until it was broken. And the support level now so it used to be support until it was broken. I mean, it used to be resistance until it was broken. Now it's the support. So that support level is right around 378. So uh, we're at 386 on the on the diamonds. We could see a pull back to test this. Level of support around 380. Um, if we continue higher next week, we could trickle just a tad bit more, but that'll take us into deep overbought territory, and that, that would be, be set us up for a hard reversal. So um, anything above 388, because we can see high prices, can't really give you a pinpoint upside, because I do think eventually we're going to see some type of pullback um, to pull back towards this level of support. That's diamonds. Look at the triple Qs. Triple Qs also look at the um, RSI and overbought territories right around 78. I'm sorry, folks, about that. Let me get rid of this. Stand by, folks. That stuff popping up that I had no. Ah, stay with me, folks. All right, a little technical difficulties there. All right, let's see. All right, again, we are right. Got up to around my 430 on triple Qs. It looks like it is a level of resistance. See so how we hit it here, then hit it here, and both of them just stalled at the, at the level. With RSI, definitely showing over, but territory around 748, seven, um, I'm sorry, around 78%. And if you look at this closely, the breakout level looks to be right above, right around 409. So 409, between four, yep, see 406 to 409. That's an area of support with it sitting right, almost right at the um, at the 10 per moving average. So again, anything over 430 could take prices higher, but I do think we could start to see some sideways action or even a pullback all the way down to this 408 or 407 level, which is an area of support. That is the triple Qs. Let's take a look at the IWM. And IWM, same thing. It continues to battle with a strong level of resistance that it's been battling with for a very long time. So we see back here around July of 2022, we hit that level right around close to um, 200 and pull back. Hit Got close to the level here around 200 and beginning of 2023 and pull back. Got close to it here around July 2023 and pull back. And got just above it right around here and an immediate reversal. Back to the 20, the 10 per moving average. And I like it's starting to trade sideways. So scenario here, we could see a um and it looks like uh we're sitting right on uh, right around this 194 level. And resistance is right around 200. So if we don't break above 200 in a meaningful way, we could see a back, uh, um, price action continue to backfill and um, test this 20 per moving average. So we're in a channel right now, trading range. But if we break below this 194, you know, we could see prices pull back and it could pull back significantly. Um, 
So keep that in mind, folks. We got a level of, of um, support, a short time, near term level of support right around right here. Right around 190, right around 192 near term level support. But if we break that, we can see a move. Probably not all the way down to 161, but definitely could see a move back to around about 170 if that was, if that's, I mean, if we see the major pullback here. So keep that in mind. That around 170 is a level of support if price action does not stay range bound between 190 to 200. All right. And last but not, not least, let's take just a glance at the VIX real quick. And here's the VIX. If, if everything, uh, if the markets are looking for a possible pullback, what is the VIX is showing us? Well, signs of the VIX is showing us that it, it, it pretty much found a level of support, and it's been hovering there. This is a weekly chart, too. It's been hovering around this level of support. As you see, it's been bouncing around here, around this white line. This is dash line. This is the level of support. And look at the RSI. It's starting to turn up. So February normally is normally a, a week or month for stock. So I would not be surprised um, to see some kind of a pullback in overall market and see some kind of rise out of the VIX. And the VIX could see a rise this month and maybe all the way back up here towards 19. So um, keep that in mind that this could be a rough, we could be in a rough patch for overall markets um, in the course of, uh, you know, sometime in February. All right. Hopefully this is some information that you guys are using to the next video. It's Tim Davis signing off.